Hey folks, this is Mary. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I've made a video and I feel like the camera is like right on top of things. So, um, please excuse me if we're a little too zoomed in for you, but we'll see what we can do. So, um, I have made a purchase. I have been making a conscious decision this year to not purchase as much stuff, but something came along that I just couldn't resist and I wanted to share it with you. So this is the lovely package, which I have already opened, and you can tell it's totally empty. So what was in the package? That's a good question. What was in the package? Where did it go? Ah, here it is. Here are some lovely bonus ink samples that were included, which we will explore in a later video. <clears throat> And this is the piece de resistance. The reason for my purchase, the thing I could not resist buying, a pen. Not just a pen, a narwhal pen. Now, you might not be aware, because I haven't exactly been forthcoming these last few months, but narwhal has jumped to the top of my favorite pen list. I currently have, I don't want to say how many, <laughs> how many narwhal pens I have somewhere above the number two and this will make it somewhere above the number three so let's see what's in the box oops you know I was trying to be all slick with my box opening but it's not working out <laughs> sometimes you just got to go with it as I'm shaking the box shaking the box all right, now I might have to edit this part out. <laughs> it doesn't want to come out. It's a shy little narwhal. Come on, little narwhal. Come out of your lair. We all want to meet you. Okay, whew. All right, it was a tight fit in that box. Okay, well there might be some glare, so just in case, it is the narwhal voyage. The, the French accent is mine alone. I don't think they are pronouncing it voyage, but you know, French is fun. Okay, let's open the box. So that is, oh, that's right, that's right. Okay, so this is a diamond cast pen. And this is one of the reasons why I could not resist this pen. Again, I have mentioned I have several narwhal pens. Therefore, I do not need to purchase any more narwhal pens ever for the rest of my life. But I have been thinking that I really wanted to get a diamond cast pen. And most of the ones I have seen are pretty expensive. Kind of outside of my, you know, maybe someday range. Now, this pen was a little pricey. Pricier than other narwhal pens that you might have seen. But I, I felt like for a special edition and a diamond cast pen that it was worth it. And another thing, it's a special edition. I cannot resist the special editions. Okay, have I have I talked enough? Do we have enough suspense? Do we wanna look inside? <gasps> there it is! Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. Okay, so if you guys haven't heard, they have come out with this new line called the Narwhal Voyage. And, um. It, the styling of the pen is kind of along the lines of the Nautilus with the kind of blunt yet rounded ends, if we can see that. And they are named after cities of the world. So this one is the New Orleans pen. And I don't know how well it's showing up in the light, but it swirls of green and purple and yellow, and it has gold trim. And my phone is telling me that it can't find my Wi-Fi network, but I'm not online, so that doesn't matter. Silly phone. It just worries about the craziest things. Okay, so let's get in here close and see how well we can see this pen. So there is the sparkling diamond bits that I just love. I hope the glare isn't too bad. Oh, so beautiful. Okay, and this, I think, is an ink window. So let's take a look at the pen. Oh, 
what's on this uh, band here? Let's see. I can't. I'm just getting blind as a bat, y'all. I swear. Let me see. I have to take my glasses off to read things, which is so ironic. I've been wearing glasses since the second grade, and now I have to take them off to see. Okay, my my blind eyes cannot see what's written on the band, but I shall have to try to find out later, and um, maybe I'll put it down in the comments. Okay. Ooh. So look at that. The grip matches the rest of the pen, which I love. It's not a, a neutral black um, grip. And here is the nib. Can we get a good close-up of that? I don't know. Oh, lighting is always an issue, as I'm sure you all already know. But it is a beautiful nib. I love narwhal nibs. They have that, that little narwhal on them. Oop, can we see that? I don't know if that's showing up very well. But anyway, um, it's a piston filler. It has this ink window. Let's see if we can see the piston come down. Let's see. Oh, let's get him out of the way so we can see what we're doing. And, oh, actually, I felt it. I felt it come to the bottom of the barrel, but it's not showing up in the window. I don't know why I thought it would, but anyway, okay, I'm screwing it back up. So, um, what was I going to say? Um, yes, piston filler, ink window, and in-house made nibs, which I love. It seems like every pen these days has a number six, you own nib. But these are number six nibs, but they are made by Narwhal in-house, which I think is awesome. And um, I I love the nibs on my other pens. They are just so smooth and comfortable and wonderful. I love them. I don't think the nib is showing up very well. Okay, I'm going to spend some time moving around here awkwardly and see what we can do. Ooh, there's the little Narwhal. We can kind of see that cute. Okay, so I thought it would be fun to pick out an ink to ink it up with. So yes, oh, diamond cast. So exciting. Okay, so I have picked out a few inks that I thought might go well with this. And um, I reserve the right to change my mind at any time. So, um, Let's see what we think. I'm trying to get the, ooh, look at that grip section. Oh my goodness, isn't that beautiful? There was the best fountain pen video ever on the Jet Pen site. I don't know if y'all ever watch Jet Pens, but I love their videos. They're short and sweet and to the point, unlike mine, and very informative and fun and funny and I love them. But the latest one was about fountain pens and it was hilarious and so true because the girl that was making the video <laughs> just kept staring in awe at her pens. <laughs> and I feel the same way. And as soon as we get off camera, I'm gonna spend a long time staring at this gorgeous pen. But we, that that is for off camera time, that's not for right now. So um, I picked out a few kind of tealy greens. I don't know, that does look pretty green, doesn't it? Can you see that? I don't know if you could see that. I might not like the greens that I've picked out, but we'll see, we'll see. So this is Papier und Stift, a night in Jodhpur, made by Diamine, of course, the unmistakable Diamine bottle. And what else do I have? I have Graf von Faber-Castell Deep Sea Green. And what's the other one I have? Oh, yes, I opted for the gallon size bottle of Tesla Coil from Birmingham Pens. Yes, the giant bottles that come with the eyedropper to get every last drop out of the bottle because I'm gonna run out of ink sometime soon. Okay, so those are our teals. And then our purples, I chose this Sitz Kruznak ink. This is a fancy diamond, which I thought would be fun. And this is one of the little Culliverse minis. 
This is KSLV2. And finally, we have, where did it go? Um, let me see. Ferris Wheel Press Tanzanite Sky. And I don't think I've had any of these in a pen before. So this should be very exciting. So let's start with the teals. And where is my notebook? And this is my trusty Claire Fontaine notebook. So we're going to start with the greens. And I'm going to get organized here in a second. All right. First is A Night in Jodhpur. Again, this is one of those special editions. I can't resist. I don't know if you can see, but there's a lot of sheen on the lip. So that should be very exciting. Oh, no. Oh, no. That is much too blue. No, no, no. Hmm. I also have a bottle of bloody absinthe over there. I might have to go get that and see how that is. Let's see. This is... Oh, I don't know. Can y'all see that? Can we get a little closer? Was that closer? Cameras are just so hard to um, operate. Ooh, okay, that's nice and close. Okay, so this is Diamine. The camera is shaking, I do apologize. A night in, oops, all right now. In, how do they spell Jodhpur? Jodhpur. And that is just all wrong. All wrong. Okay, we'll see what the other colors look like. And if I don't like any of those, then I might go get the um, bloody absinthe. But what am I talking about? We still have all the purples to go through, too. I just have way too much ink. What a wonderful problem to have. All right. Let us put his cap back on. And... Let me see. I need an assistant. Okay. Next up is the Graf Von Faber Castell Deep Sea Green. These these bottles look like men's aftershave bottles. They're so funny. And I swear a hurricane wouldn't knock them over. They have that really thick glass base. But when you're talking about ink, you certainly want something that's not going to get knocked over. All right. Ooh, I got to make sure I've got room for the purples too. Oh my. Oh my. That is very light. Is it supposed to be that light? I don't know. Hmm. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ink swabs on the loose. And my glass pen. Let me see. All right. This is Groff Von. Ooh, let's see if I can spell that. I know it's Faber. I always say Faber. I can't help myself. Just like I say, Spokane, Washington. And uh, what's that one in Florida that I always pronounce wrong? I'll think of it later. <laughs> Deep sea green. Well, I gotta say, Mr. FC, that is not looking too deep. That's more like a light sea green. Okay, so far the uh, tealy greens are, are not cutting it. We got one more to try. All right, Birmingham pens, they're going to bring it on home. Let's see. And of course, this is the 
Tesla coil. Mr. Tesla. I wonder if he could have imagined back, what was it, 100, 130 years ago, how popular his name was going to become. Uh, let's see. Q-tip. Oh no, it's another blue one. Okay, I have a lot of blue inks. <laughs> I know I do, but I, I really have green inks. I promise. I promise I have green inks. I might have to go get the um, uh, bloody absinthe. But again, we have to see the purples. The purples might just blow me away. So this is Birmingham Pen Company Tesla Coil. Mm. That is quite lovely. That is quite lovely. like that just for its own virtues. Ooh. <laughs> and my ink water is um, quite blue at this point. So hopefully I can get it, get my, uh, my little friend the glass pen, get him nice and clean. All right, who's next? Next up are the purples. So... Let's start with this cute little guy. These, uh, ooh, we're awfully close, aren't we? Start with this little Colorverse Mini. These little bottles are just the cutest. Now, I don't know how I, I would fill my pen out of this tiny little bottle, because um, I don't know if the nib units on these pens come off or not. So just from, just from difficulty of use, I think this one might get voted down. But I do have an ink miser somewhere, which I could put the ink in to, um, to uh, fill up the pen. Dang, it's another blue. <laughs> it's supposed to be purple. Okay, the greens turned out blue, and now the purples are turning out blue. I think all of my inks are just becoming blue on their own. Just the, the force of my will is turning them all blue. I'm sorry, you guys can't even see that. Good heavens. I'm telling you, my camera skills. I'm out of practice here. Okay, now I'm going to try to get some ink on my glass nib in this tiny little bottle. Oh, look. I can just get it in there enough to get a drop of ink. Just. Okay, maybe that's not enough. Let's see. Okay, we're going to say that's enough. And this is Colorverse. Gosh, did I hear something about Colorverse today? I can't remember. And this the print on this bottle is so tiny, I can't read it. K-S-L-V-2. Good heavens. It is teeny tiny. And that is also very pretty. But it's not purple or green. Good heavens. You know, I was going to get out my favorite. My, uh, probably my number two ink which is Monteverde's California Teal. But I thought, no, no, I have all these other inks that I haven't used. I need to get something different. But if I had just gone with California Teal, <laughs> it would it would actually be green. Okay. I'm just yakking away, y'all. I'm sorry. This is taking way too long. But if I could talk about anything, it would be pens. Or perhaps typewriters, but I don't think y'all are into typewriters, so I might have to make a typewriter video one of these days. Oh my goodness, I love typewriters so much. Okay. Oh, I forgot to show you the bottle. 
and now it is open. This is the Sitz Kruznach Fancy Diamond. I don't understand why the Fancy Diamond is purple. Perhaps the very rare diamonds are purple, you think? That's looking very light, my goodness. Okay. And Mr. Glass Pen, I do have to say, I love the wide mouth. Wonderful for dipping. Wonderful for pen filling. Ooh, can I spell Sitz Kruznach? I'm probably saying that wrong too. I apologize. Maybe it's Sites. Sites Kruznach. Sites. Ooh, come on, Mr. Pen. sure what that means. I know knock is night. Hmm. I don't know. But it is a lovely purple. I do have to give it that much. In my blue, blue pen water. Okay. Alright. That is all for Mr. Fancy Diamond. And now, last but not least, we have um, uh, Ferris Wheel Press. And this is Tanzanite Sky. Ooh, the, uh, it's hard to loosen that nut on top. I might need to get my wrench out. Oh my. The, uh, the cap liner <laughs> is stuck on the bottle. Oof. Goodness gracious, I got some ink boogers going on here. Okay, who was talking about ink boogers? Oh, I was watching an Artie channel. And she was, oh goodness, the cap is heavy. It's heavier than I remember. It's like it's magnetized. But um, anyway, she was talking about um, paint boogers on her bottles of paint. So I guess that's where I was getting that from. Okay, so here we are. Ooh, hmm, hmm, very interesting. Okay, this is Ferrets. Wheel press Tanzanite Sky. Hmm, that is very dark. I know these need to dry a little bit. Okay, putting the cap back on Mr. Ferris Wheel Press. Because we don't want this giant bottle of ink to tip over. My goodness, that would be a disaster. I still have yet. Oops, I'm trying to knock on wood here. Don't knock on wood and shake the camera. I still have yet to spill a bottle of ink. Thank goodness. Okay. So. Let's look at our choices here. We have a night in Jodhpur. Which I think is supposed to have a lot of sheen. Now, I do see sheen on the writing. Can you see that? Not really. But it is sheeny. So we have a sheeny blue. And then we have the deep sea green. That is not very deep. And then we have the Birmingham Tesla coil. Whew, which is sheen, sheen, sheen. And there is the Colorverse KSL V2, which again is a nice blue, but the pen is not blue. <laughs> it's green and purple. Okay, so here we have a purple. The, oh, oh, I forgot to put um, Fancy Diamond on there. Good heavens. 
Whenever I hear the word fancy, I think about that Reba McIntyre song. A friend of mine in high school was, whoops, diamond. Was crazy about Reba McIntyre. Actually, so was my sister-in-law. She's a popular lady. Okay. So that was Sitz Cruise Knock Fancy Diamond. And then we have Ferris Wheel Press Tanzanite Sky, which is a very dark purple. So dark it looks black. So black, purple, blue, pink from all the sheen, green. Well, I guess the writing's not too bad. The writing looks kind of green. And then another sort of sheeny blue. Well, my pen choices were just disappointing. My goodness. Okay. I don't like any of these. I honestly don't like any of these. Isn't that terrible? I don't like any of these for my new pen. Oh. Okay, I'm going to have to go re, re uh, raid the ink cabinet and see what else we got over there because ain't none of these cutting it. Although I love that Tesla coil. Ooh, I got to get that in a pen. Um, I'm not too crazy about Sheen, but that is just fun. It's really fun. Okay, I'm going to go find some more inks, and I will be right back. Okay, I just went over to my ink cabinet and picked out about 50 more inks to look at. <laughs> and um, I thought I might fast forward through this part, but then I thought, no, we're here to talk about inks. So I'm not going to fast forward through this part. If you would like to fast forward, please feel free. I understand completely. And uh, maybe I'll figure out how to do one of those timestamp things or... Something. I don't know. Something. But in the meantime, I'm just going to be talking about inks. So, first up we have another Birmingham ink. This is Voltaic Arc. And I was trying to look through the bottle. I'm pretty sure this one is actually green. And not blue in disguise. So, let me tilt my book a little bit so I can see what I'm doing. And I've got a bunch of inks, so I'm going to try to squeeze them all in here. Ooh. Oh, that is looking really teal. <laughs> Dang, it. I This is the first time in my life that I have not wanted a blue ink. This just goes against my nature completely. Okay. But we're going to let it dry and see what it does. And I have many bottles here, so let me move some out of the way so I don't knock them over. Again, never spilled a bottle. Don't plan to start tonight. Okay. So, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit again. And, um, this was... Birmingham. Ooh, the camera's shaking. Birmingham Penco. And this is Voltaic Arc. Hmm. Definitely looking teal. Not quite as blue as the last one was. Although, man, that Tesla coil was gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay. Washing off my pen. Washing off my pen. My glass. My glass pen. Okay. Next up, one that is undoubtedly green, Sailor Shikiori. Oh, what I didn't bring the box over here. I'm pretty sure this is Tokiwa Matsu. Let's see. And he is totally, totally green with a, um, with a bubble on top. Green with a bubble on top. Oh, what am I doing? I need a um, Q-tip. Whew, forgetting what I'm doing over here. Oh, all right. we're going to try to squeeze a bunch of these on this page, so I don't want to make that too big. So, this is Sailor. Shik 
shiki, oops, shiki, worry. Um, and I don't have the box in front of me, so please excuse me if I'm misspelling this. Tokiwa Matsu. And please excuse me for shaking the camera. Okay, I'm not going to apologize anymore. <laughs> that's just, that's enough apologizing. Okay. So put away Mr. Sailor. And... Next up we have Lear Sauvage. I have several of these little Urban bottles, but I've never actually used any of them. Nope, I take that back. I have uh, Bleu Nuit in my Vanishing Point. And I'm really enjoying it. I, I was not enjoying it. I thought it was much too light, but then I was reading about the ink on the Mountain of Ink website. I love her website, by the way. And she called it um, some kind of purple, like a soft purple or something like that. And I thought, yeah, it's a soft purple, and I like it. So I was just expecting it, you know, bleu nuit. I was thinking blue. And um, wait a minute. Maybe I'm getting my inks mixed up. I think I'm talking about bleu nuit. <laughs> Pretty sure. My goodness, I have too much ink. Okay. Airbon. Lear. Make sure I spell this correctly. Lear Sauvage. And I think I've mentioned this before. Whenever I hear the word Sauvage, I think of Morticia in the Adams family. Mon Sauvage. That was a great movie. Great actors. Alrighty. So, these are looking green. I'm very happy about that. We're actually getting into some green inks now. Okay. One more greenish one. As I mentioned before, this is Bloody Absinthe. I've been watching videos on this um, YouTube channel. I think it's called the Try Channel. And it's Irish people trying a bunch of different stuff. It is hilarious. And they do a lot of drinking, they try a lot of alcohol, and they've done quite a few videos on absinthe. I've never had absinthe, but they have all these absinthe cocktails and stuff, and some love it and some hate it, but it's always entertaining to watch. So if you're looking for a laugh, I highly recommend the Try Channel. Alrighty. So, this is Diamine. Bloody absence. Alrighty, quite wet and dark and sheeny. Lots of fun. Oh, and I think my um my blotting tissue is getting rather inky. So I need a fresh tissue. You know, I got this cloth to use with my inks for wiping my nibs and stuff. Do I ever use it? No. Do I know where it is? No. But I'm gonna get myself organized one of these days. Okay, so those were the new greens that I picked out. Mostly looking very green, so I feel like I'm on the right track now. And next up, we have some purples. And here is another color verse. This is Purple Cosmo. And I haven't looked into that name. A Purple Cosmo is a flower, but that definitely looks like Something spacey. I don't know. Ooh, have you guys heard about the new Webb telescope? Oh my goodness, it is so exciting. Space is cool, and things that look into space are cool. I've been watching all these videos about the Voyager missions. Oh my goodness, it's so fascinating. These man-made objects are outside of the solar system. That is just crazy to think about. Ooh. It's a little bit redder than I prefer my purples to be, but still very pretty. All right. But yeah, I think both of the Voyagers have now passed the, um, ooh, I can't think of the name of it now. They, they've 
passed outside of the sun's sphere of influence, and it's called something. I can't remember. But it is just so cool to learn about. I really wish we could send some more um, probes out to the outer planets. I'm really fascinated with the Kuiper Belt. That's the place where all the comets come from. It's all of the debris at the edge of the solar system. And it's just fascinating. And, um, you know, you never know when something might come shooting into the galaxy, not the galaxy, come shooting into the solar system from the Kuiper Belt because there's stuff out there that we've never seen. But it might be on a trajectory to come this way. So that's a very cool. Okay, next up we have another Herbant Inc. This is Violette Pensée. What is that? Violet Thoughts? Thoughts of Violets? I do think about Violets sometimes. I think they are lovely little flowers. And I have a few of them in my yard. My yard is very sunny. And Violets like a bit of shade. So I don't have too many Violets, but I have a few. Ooh! Oh, my goodness, you can't see that. Oh, I've got to move my move my water so I can shift my notebook. But yes, wee oui, wee. Oui. That is a, I don't know, a bon couleur, something like that. My French is terrible. One of my coworkers has been teaching a Korean class. My Korean is even worse than my French. I was trying to pronounce how you say hello in Korean after class, and I went home and I pronounced it all night long. I said it over and over again because I didn't want to forget, and I wanted to, you know, start learning Korean and be really good at it. And when I went back to work the next day, I found out that I had been saying it wrong all night. <laughs> so I had memorized it incorrectly, and now I don't even know what the right way is to say hello. It's terrible. But I do think it's very important to learn other languages. And I am not fluent in anything else, unfortunately. But there's always time. Okay. So, that was Violet Pensée. Or Violette Pensée. Oh, I can't get the cat back on. Okay. So what else do we have? We have, um, uh-oh, uh-oh, um, okay, I pulled out another Birmingham ink, but I don't know how purple this one is. This is Ultramarine, Hare's Island Ultramarine. I don't know. Ooh, did it? Did it release a little bit of air when I opened it? Oh dear. Does that mean there's something in my ink? I'm always so paranoid about getting mold or something in my ink, you know? So, I hope that wasn't a sign of something growing in my ink. I don't know. I have some private reserve inks that I bought several years ago before the company shut down for a while. Now they've been bought out and they're under production again. But um, when, you know, back when I bought my ink, it was under the previous owners and it had a reputation for having mold. And some of my inks are a little stringy <laughs> and, and I'm afraid to use them now, but I can't afford to just repurchase all of those inks that I have, you know? So I don't know what to do with them. I hate to throw them out, but I guess I should throw them out. Anyway, and I bought a bottle of spearmint, which is supposed to be a great green, but the bottle had a crack in it. I feel like I've told this story before. I took it back to the store and they didn't have any other bottles of spearmint, so I couldn't exchange it. So I just have kept this bottle with the cracked cap and it's probably all dried out, who knows. I've just been avoiding the issue. Okay. Yep, that's looking pretty blue. Pretty, but blue. And what are we going for tonight, kids? Purple. 
goodness, who thought it would be so hard for me to find purple ink <laughs> or a green one? Good grief. I have a lot of blue inks. Have I ever told you that before? I have a lot of blue inks. Okay, I have one more ink to show you to help me make my decision. And this one is Diamine Iris. So let us see what this one looks like. I do like Diamine inks. They have beautiful colors and reasonable prices and very well behaved inks. And that is very pretty. All right. Ooh, will my glass pen fit down in there? Why, well, yes, it will. Okay. So this is Diamine Iris. Okay. So that is all of our choices, and I will be picking one of these inks. I will not be sampling any more inks tonight, I promise. And let's see. So we have the Birmingham Voltaic Arc, which is looking really dark on the camera, but it's it's definitely a teal. And then we have Tokiwa Matsu, kind of a what would you call that? Like a pine green, an olive green, and then the Lear Sauvage, which is a bright green. And then we have Diamine Bloody Absinthe. And it's doing something weird with the lines on the paper. Can you see that? That's crazy. Okay, so that is a dark green sheeny ink. It's kind of a dark green leaning towards teal with some red sheen. Okay, and then we have Colorverse Purple Cosmo. Kind of on the reddish end, not my favorite. And then we have Violet Pensee, beautiful bright purple. And then the not purple, <laughs> which is ultramarine. Eh, it's looking a bit more purple on camera, but in person it is blue, blue, blue. And then we have Diamine Iris, another lovely bright purple. It's a little bit darker than Violet Pensee. Okay, so which one do we think would be good with this pen? With this lovely green and gold and purple diamond cast pen. I'm looking, I'm looking. Which one do you think I'm gonna pick? Okay, vote in the comments below. <laughs> And, um, well, I, actually, I would very, be very interested in your opinions about which ink you think I should put in this pen. Or is there a completely different ink that I haven't shown that you think I should put in this pen? I really thought I wanted to put a purple in here. And I was really hoping, hoping that the Tanzanite sky would be the right color. But it's just not. These are all kind of lighter purples. Oh, let me get my ink water out of the way. Oof, don't knock over the ink water. And that fancy diamond. The fancy diamond is just not fancy enough, you know? And that Tesla coil is so pretty, but it's just the wrong ink for this pen. But see, the Tanzanite sky is way too dark. Okay, I'm agonizing over this. I'm a terrible decision maker. But I think I've made my decision. I'm just having one last look just to see what I think. And I think I'm going to go with Bloody Absinthe. Yay! Okay. So, where did Bloody Absinthe go? Here it is. Let's ink this puppy up. Now, I do have to say, I am very nervous about getting mold in my pens I mean sorry mold in my ink so I generally don't fill directly from the bottle however if it's a brand new pen and I have recently cleaned it out which I did off camera I feel like it's safe for me to fill it 
because the pen hasn't been near anything else that could corrupt the ink, if you know what I mean. Okay. Ooh, it's very exciting. This is the first time that I have inked up a pen with this ink. And, you know, we always talk about the uh, Noodler's bottles being so full, but this Diamine bottle is pretty darn full. It's, it's a teensy bit below the cap, enough below the cap that you're not in too much danger spilling it. But those Noodler's bottles, if you're familiar, are just, um, can I do this so you guys can see? Probably not. There are so many shadows. Ah, uh, lighting. Hello, darkness, my old friend. It's impossible. Oop, oop, I'm sucking up some ink. Okay, and I know a lot of people fill the piston filler and then empty it out and then fill it again, but I never do that. I figure whatever I get the first go round is plenty. Because, you know, ink lasts me a good while and, um, when it runs out, then I can fill it up with something else or refill it with the same thing. Okay. So, ooh, look at my fingers. I think somebody was talking about getting ink on your fingers. I was watching somebody's video and he was complaining about inking up his pen and getting ink on his fingers. And I was thinking that, you know, that's the point. <laughs> Part of the joy of using pens for me is is playing, you know, getting to play with the ink. I'm going to back out just a little bit. It's it's like paint. I mean, what kind of artist would you be if you complained about getting paint on your hands when you're making a painting? So I just think it's silly for people to complain about getting ink on their hands when they're using a, a fountain pen. That's just that's part of the fun for me. But then also they were talking about it on the, um, the Goulet what is it, Goulet pen cast, that, you know, people were complaining about getting ink on their hands. You're just missing the point. If you want nice, neat, inkless hands, get a gel pen. Or not even a gel pen, because they can leak. Get a ballpoint. Of course, they can leak too. See, whatever you do, you can get ink on your hands. So just use a fountain pen and you'll be fine. Okay, so this is my, what is this? <laughs> this is my, whoop, come on, Mr. Narwhal. Okay, where was I? This is my, whoop, there he goes. Narwhal Voyage in New Orleans. So this is a medium nib and yes, the ink window is showing me my ink. See? So you could see I didn't get a full fill, which I am okay with. And then I turned the pen over and oh, there's the ink. All right. So this is my brand new diamond cast pen from Narwhal that I love. It's so beautiful. And thank you all for sharing me this fun narwhal experience and I make no promises about future videos I hope to see you again soon but if I don't I will catch you next time well we didn't look at the end there's the end with a little finial something or another on there okay this is just like gratuitous pen footage I'm sure you've all left now and I'm just sitting here staring at my pen which is so beautiful have you seen the sparkle? Did you see it sparkle? Oh, look at the sparkle. Oh, it's so beautiful. Okay. Go watch that Jen Pins video about the girl staring at her pen. And you'll know what I'm